There we go. Ooh. what day it is. Mystery Tackle Box, baby! Woo! Yep, I know it's here. I got the email saying it was here. So, here we go. Let's go get it out of the mailbox. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so... Same rules apply. I'm gonna try and catch a fish on every tack, every piece of tackle in here, whether it's a lure, a soft bait, whatever it is. I don't know what's in here, and then you know what, at the end, I'll do a review on all of it and how I would like it and if I would use it again. All right, let's 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 get to it. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what's in it. All right, let's get at it, guys. Oh, the scale as usual. So your first bait, you got big bite baits. This is the same one, the same kind of bait or company that I had in the last one. I don't really know what this is. It's got some gold flake to it. Yeah. Well, whatever it is. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what we pair that up with. Oh, this is pretty sweet. The baby bull shad. This will definitely work. I mean, it seems like it's pretty hard lure. I like I like the hard lures and uh, catching them on that. So that one that one will definitely work. Oh, booyah jig, guys! You know how I love booyah stuff, and this is a baby boo jig. I think I have a full size boo jig. It's a good color, so I am sure that we will catch some fish on this. One hundred percent sure. We got some wacky rig drop shot. That'll work out. Oh yeah, we got some, what's this, Excite Bait. Here's some little baby crawls. How many come in here? Is that three? Wow, there's only three that come in here. I guess I'm gonna have to make them count. The Raptor Tail Chunk. All right, and of course the sticker that's gonna go on the bar. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and catch the fish. We're gonna try and catch them on each lure. And we're gonna get after it. Stay tuned guys. Good morning guys. It's that time again. Time for that MTB challenge. All right, like I said, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna try and get all the lures on, the, on uh, all fish on every lure. Um, we don't have a lot of time today. We've got the family in town. So we're gonna try and knock it out real quick. Um, I'm not sure what pond I'm gonna go to yet. There's so many decisions and I just don't, uh, I can't decide. We wind up the same pond as last time for the MTB challenge. Don't hate me. Because it's close, it produces, and they need to get back home. All right, guys, we fished this pond before. But, you know what? I really would like to catch some good fish out of this pond. So we came here first, number one. I'm trying to stay away from ponds that are gonna have a lot of slop in them because, or a lot of, uh, a lot of mushy ground around them because it has been soaking wet raining here so let's get it started all right so we got the baby bull shad rigged we've got the booyah baby jig with the uh craw I and mean, that looks pretty that looks pretty good guys and then finally we've got something that I haven't fished before and it looks odd however I know from what I've heard and lots of fishing videos <laughs> that the drop shot does work but there's the drop shot got the weight at the bottom and you've got a little two out hook and You've got the little fleck. So, 
this goes on the bottom and this wiggles. So we will work it. There's some different ways to work it. And then, you know, at the end of the video, if it's successful, then I will teach you guys how to tie it. If it is not successful, I am going to throw it in the garbage. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. I know it's time tested and everything else and blah, blah, blah. But let's see how. Let's see how Mike likes it. Bug just flew into my eye, guys. Yep. Oh, there goes a deer, guys. That was a buck. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. So, drop shot worked and almost got killed by deer. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Whew. Oh. Let me tell you what, guys. You don't see bucks in Florida very often you see a lot of does but i just had two small bucks just almost cream me holy crap and i caught a fish <laughs> i mean it's a tiny guy but guess what guys the drop shot the drop shot works it works he's, he's healthy pond hopper fishing will be right back after these messages and mike goes mike goes and changes his underwear all right, let's get back in the game, guys. Let's get a good release on this little, on this little rat. He's a nice fish, though. Let's try and get this jig bite done. It's a nice little baby jig. Hopefully, the casting with this because it does, it is real light. Got him, got him guys, got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> it is about time. Oh. 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 All right, we gotta let him wear himself out guys. He's not coming in, he is not coming in. Oh. Is not coming in without a fight. Uh, gotta let him wear himself out. Mm. Uh, oof. Ah, oh, this is a fight, guys. I uh, can't you can't take me back in that. Uh, uh. I don't know if he's done. I doubt it. He's probably gonna take off again, guys. Oh, oh that's a big fish. Oh no! Oh crap. Alright guys. So we're back. And we got a little bit of time before we go out to Lindsay's birthday dinner. At Burns, just just saying, it's gonna be a really good, really good dinner. But you know what? I got a challenge to complete. It was so. We're gonna fish at my other neighborhood pond. I've been fishing for the last like, I don't know, hour at my pond without any video, and I fished the entire. Oh, geez, there were that was a whole swarm of bugs. Oh, gross. But, oh, oh, dude, oh, in 
my eyeball. All right, guys, here we are. We're at the, we're at my other neighborhood pond. Kind of fishing a little bit. So we'll see what we can do. I don't know why I should start out with the jig or the swim bait. I think the swim bait is just almost a lost cause right now. It is just not working out today. Not, not even far enough. There we go. Ooh, hook set. Hook set. That's a good fish, too. I thought I'm running with it. Yeah, baby. Whew. See, guys, it's, it's just all about the time. It's all about the timing, guys. All about the timing, all about the pond. Dude, I was just fit. Lindsay, ow. Lindsay just fished our, you know, for like half an hour with this jig. Caught nothing. Caught nothing. But you know what? That's a, that's a, that's a quality bass. I mean, seriously, he's healthy and a chunker. Look at him. He's good looking bass. Now, don't bite me. Well, now all we have to do is get the swim bait, guys. Look at that. That's a nice looking bass. I mean, that has the that has the possibility of being a good bass one day. And you know what? He's much cooler, like the, his body temperature than they have been. What's up guys? All right, so I told you that I was gonna teach you how to tie the drop shot rig, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go over what you're gonna need for it. Um, I usually like to tie my, tie my fishing stuff and all my lures and rigs and everything that I'm gonna use, you know, the next day at night. So, you know, that's just me. I mean, I can tie it on the go as well. It's not a big deal, but I always like to prep before I go out fishing, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm a nerd, but whatever. So first thing you're gonna need is fluorocarbon, all right? I have some Berkley and it is 20 pound fluorocarbon, all right? You can use lighter if you want, but this is just kind of standard what I use because this is the biggest that I'll use when I go uh, saltwater fishing as well. Uh, you wanna use a two-aught hook or a one-aught hook, all right? So it's a nice little hook and you'll see what we do with that. You'll also need a weight. Um, this one works for me. I mean, they're cheap. You get like, I don't know, six, seven, eight, something like that for like 94 cents at Walmart. Super cheap. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with our fluorocarbon and we're gonna start out with our hook, okay? When you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie an uni knot, okay? So. This is very, very important. You want to leave yourself enough extra line so that you'll be able to tie the weight to the bottom. You want about six to eight inches on the bottom of it. So what you want to do is, if you guys don't know how to tie an uni knot, I'm going to teach you real quick, okay? So you have your stagnant end and your free running or your 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 working end of the line all right and let's see if i can hold this off here stretch it out so it's not so curly all right so what you're going to do is you're going to come back you're going to take it and this is for the uni, all right? So two lines are together, you come back, you circle it, and you hold that working end down with your thumb and your uh, pointer finger. And then you wanna take this excess line, this piece right here, and you wanna run it through this circle here. You wanna do that, well, I usually do it six times. I don't know why I do it six times, but 
That's usually what I do. So you take the working end and you run it through six times or five to seven, whatever you want to do. There's four. It is a little bit of pain in the butt because you have to keep that extra little bit out. And there's six. All right, so all you're gonna do now is just pull it tight. And then you slide it down by pulling the hang the uh, stand the stationary end and now look what you got so you got all this extra right here this is very important do not forget this step so you want to take your working end which is this and if you have a question it's the shorter of the two ends and you want to run it back through the eyelet of the hook sometimes it's hard to see Just run it right back down and through. You take it and pull it through. All right. I also forgot, guys. There's one more thing that you need. Okay. So we've tied our we've tied our first uni knot onto the hook. You always need a drink when you're preparing your fishing gear. Okay. That's the best way to do it. If you're not 21. You can't have this, Eagle Rare Bourbon, all right? You guys haven't had it, drink it. If you're not 21 though, feel free to have a Capri Sun while you get your fishing gear ready. All right, back to the drop shot. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your weight, all right? Pretty self-explanatory, there's a hole right here, you put it through. And it's the same thing. You tie another uni knot. So you have your working end, which is this, and then you have your other, you have your stagnant end. All right? We go through, and we're gonna do it six times again. Like I said, I just do it six. That's just because that's the way I do it. All right, when I was in the Special Forces, my senior weapons sergeant, who used to be a former engineer, always told me a, and this was referring to charges, a pretty knot is a happy knot. So you always wanna trim your knots down, make sure that they look good, all right? The tighter they are, you know, unless you're tying a different type of knot, like a loose fitting knot, but, this is what you guys want to end up with, all right? Weight down here, you know, six to eight inches is a little bit more, but that's okay. And your hook up here, all right? Now, I fish braid, you know, and I, I don't, I wouldn't use this rig on a bait caster. If you guys are better on a bait caster than me, then use it on a bait caster. But this thing's too light for me to use on a bait caster. So, I have my spinning rod and I run 20 pound Power Pro braid on my spinning rod. Well, pretty much any spinning rod, spinning rod except for my bigger ones, and I run a 40 pound Power Pro on that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie an uni to uni here. It's the same concept. So you put your braid together, and you have your uh, fluorocarbon. Pinch them together, all right? Once again, this braid becomes your stagnant end. This, this fluorocarbon right here becomes your working end. You're gonna take it and you're gonna run it six times through. Like I said, five to seven times, whatever you wanna do. And I just go with six, like I said. All right, you pull that tight. And then, you know, you 
can cinch it down a little bit, it'll, you'll see, it'll cinch on itself. So, now you gotta do the other end, all right? So this other end is the same deal, all right? And if you, didn't, if you didn't leave enough, you can just pull it through. And once again, this is called uni to uni. Or some people call it uni. I call it uni. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, guys correct me. But I say uni. So like I said, you run it. The braid becomes your working end now and the fluorocarbon becomes your stagnant end. Pull it tight like that, and see how the knot's cinched up, guys? And what do you have? You gotta do some trimming, because a pretty knot is a happy knot. Take your little clippers, Clip it nice and neat. Braid's a little bit harder to clip when it's like uh, when it's like this, so you get it as best as you can. All right, there you go. All right, so uni to uni. So I got 20 pound power, power Pro attached to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reel up some of this excess real quick. All right. And I'm gonna take this big bite bait. And what I found to be pretty good is that take the bait out, and you just run it right through the head. So you're gonna take it, and you're gonna put it right center, up and through. All right, so now I'll demonstrate real quick. So this is what it looks like, all right? Cast it out there, this sits on the bottom, this sits up here. And you can work it just like a jig, whether you just wanna pull up slow, because the action on this thing is gonna be moving a lot, okay? So it's floating in the water and it's gonna kick real nice. You can work it just like a jig, real slow, just pulling it up, or you can, or you can tap, your rod, tap your rod a little bit, all right? And then it'll, then it'll set back down and that's how you tie a drop shot rig, guys. Not only a drop shot, drop shot rig, but a uni to uni knot, all right? Um, like I said, I have fished this literally one time, and it was for this video, and I really liked it. So, I think I'm gonna keep on fishing it and just kinda add it to my arsenal, because I didn't have it in there before, and maybe you guys, maybe you guys will add it, maybe you won't, maybe you already have it in there, but, I just figured I'd t share that video with you guys because it's really an effective tool, especially during the hot weather I found. So, all right guys, that's it. That's how you tie the drop shot rig. Um, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna talk about all the baits that I used in this challenge. As you saw, there was one bait that I could not catch a fish on and I have no idea why. It was the bait that I thought was gonna be the easiest one to catch it on. And that's this bait, it's the baby uh, bull shad. I think it's by Catch Company, all right? Um, I really like it. I'm gonna keep on trying to work it. They just didn't wanna eat it. So that's the one that I missed, guys. I hooked into a big grass carp with it. I just saw from the video, but you know, I mean, that's about all I caught. Um, I highly recommend this little jig. This little jig is cool. Um, it's the, uh, the Baby Boo Jig by Booyah, and I paired it with the Excite bait that I got from the Mystery Tackle Box, and it worked awesome. And then, of course, 
this, and I paired this with my drop shot rig. They said that this is primarily for smallmouth bass, you know, smallies, but I really don't have any smallies down here in Florida, especially where I'm at. So, but you know what? It caught a largemouth bass, no problem. Uh, I caught a largemouth large mouth bass on it, and then I almost got killed by two by a deer. So that was pretty insane. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you like it, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and you know what, until next time guys, cheers.